Hello everybody, this is Kabis Games, and welcome back to another Crosshead Art Build video. And today, we got the M16 Half-Track Self-Propelled Anti-Air Vehicle. Let's get right into the build, and we got some basic frames, some APC steering wheels and armored tracks. We're using Tab Spider as a cabin, Apollo, Hot Rat, Carrier. Uh, I don't think you actually need the carrier, but I actually do have it on there. And we're gonna go first, we're gonna go on to the rear armor parts and how that's all shaped up. Know that I'm actually putting down two stickers here. Uh, of course, they're not forced, but you can have them on if you want. There's actually an exit spot to place the stickers because that's basically where you kind of have insignias and whatever. Let's go on with the front side of the driver's cabin. And now we're gonna go up and get the entire front nose. So here are the ventilation front sides, and this is how we're actually doing the mountings of the covers. Uh, and then we got a radio here, actually. You don't actually need the radio, but I thought it was actually an excellent way to put in a radio. Since this thing doesn't really have a radar, I think there's a side bit of effectiveness in there. And then we're going to go on to some detailing before we're going to go on to the turret. So... Um, here we're gonna go after roof, and now we're gonna make the turret. And we got four repairs here, so we're not having any other modules here because, well, it is 60 energy. But there is actually another variation here uh, that is not official to the M16, but it actually looks really cool as well, which I'm gonna show you guys separately now. The different variation actually has a, quite a major rear uh, change. So this is actually how you start out, and we are using seals as the walls here, and an avia panel in the midst. Then we got some buggy floors to mount two cyclones like this, and I actually think that actually looks really, really cool. And that's why we actually put these here. And we got some small struts and some avia struts, for armored hatch and a manual cover in each side. So that's like that, and in the back we got two shivers to cool the guns down. And this is actually quite a lot of firepower, but in with both variants, note that you cannot fire down because if you actually try to fire, you are actually locked into a certain level of gun depression and you cannot fire down further. So you actually always have to be on a downward slope in order to fire, such as this little hill right here. It's more than enough to like, actually get Ample gun depression, so then that way you can fire at your enemy. Ooh, we got a nice map for our build. And this one actually we can fire down reasonably well with our top guns, and that's why we actually got the top and bottom guns on different buttons. Oh, got one in the sweet spot. Why are you firing at me? Uh, got a ride to the up one. It's better to down the drones. Of course, it doesn't really matter whether we're actually really far out or not, because our DPS will be the same anyways. This we do not have any perks. Coming towards us. I think he is. Oh no, he's dead. Alright, works too. I'm not complaining there. Can I get a hit? I don't think it does look like I can get a hit there. Oh, well, I guess we're just gonna go towards the base because that's where there are. He has two remaining enemies. Killed Joshua. Kill some drones. Oh, hello. Can we get a switch 
water. No. That was my bad Sir? Don't don't let the drone kill you, I want you. Aw. Oh well. On to the next match. This map is less than optimal for builds like this. Art builds aren't really too happy with this map to begin with. Since they generally like to play at range. This one really has very limited firing angles for the bottom two guns. And as if I would actually be able to change one thing, I would actually change those. But then you would have to move the turret up and then it doesn't really shoot right anywhere. So we're gonna suck like this. But we can do some anti-air work. That's one thing. Uh, that's a lot of people. Ouch. And there goes my turret. It's the first time I'm, I, I actually got the gun before getting killed. But that's something. I'm just gonna go on to capping, but I doubt this will be a very interesting match. So, to the ones that are gonna skip, I'll see you guys on the third match. In the meanwhile, I'll just keep on driving around this tower. Dodging some missiles. In the meanwhile. Hello. I'm gonna swing you around, sir. Fun police is here. <laughs> I'm the last one alive as well. Oh, rip then. <laughs> Alright, for our last batch, we're gonna take out the dual cyclone variation. And I'm actually gonna record this one first because actually, uh, otherwise, I have to redo the build. So, I have no yet idea how I'm gonna perform with the other one. But it will. There's not. And we probably did not really take the best spot here, but we can actually shoot this guy up quite a bit now. And he misses us. He's about to miss us as well. Look at how quick those guns cool down. <laughs> I even want to do a radar detector or something in here. And I might actually have to move now because they're starting to hit my stuff. Ouch. Alright, that was not good. Sergey might be a problem now. He might kill me. You yeah, only have 70 health left. Ah, got him. Uh oh. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, my face got destroyed by what? Goliath twins. Mammoth. Alright. 